John Sua used to call this our quiet corner. We're literally at the end of the road. Very little traffic coming our way. It's a good place for physical seclusion. Of course, you want to develop mental seclusion as well. Because even if you stay here for a long time, you can't totally depend on things being quiet all the time. The world outside is, has this way of impinging on us. But if you can find some mental seclusion inside, then you can take that wherever you go. In other words, you know you have some defilements inside, but you don't get involved with them. You learn how to separate yourself out. This is an important part of wisdom. Seeing these things as separate, they, they may appear in the mind, but you don't have to get yourself entangled. Our problem is that whatever appears in the mind, we gobble right down, like a little child crawling across the floor. Everything comes across, he just sticks in his mouth. No wonder we have metal stomach ache. We take things in and then we realize they're not good. And sometimes we think, well, that's just the way it is. That's the way food is. And we keep on eating that kind of food. So give yourself something better to feed on. Be it on the breath. Be it on the sense of well-being that you can create from the breath. Learn how to hold on here. And it makes it easier to let go of other things. If you're just told to let go, let go, let go, but don't have something good to hold on to, you're going to turn around and start holding on to whatever comes past. So hold on to the breath, hold on to your sense of the body as you feel it from within. And this allows you to separate yourself out from sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. This is why the Buddha said that you want to have mindfulness immersed in the body as your post. And then you tie the senses to that post. The same way that you would tie animals to leashes and tie the leashes to the post. So no matter how far things would pull you in the other direction, the post is strong and the animals end up lying right down next to the post. In other words, you see things, you hear things. It's not that you're blind or, or deaf. But you don't let them make inroads in the mind, and you don't send your mind out after them. They're there. You deal with them as you have to. But have a sense of being separate. Your awareness is one thing. The things of which you're aware are something else. When you can have that attitude, then it's, you can go through the world a lot more safely. Because you can't take this quiet corner with you when you go. But you can take the skills that you develop inside, and those you find you can learn how to master not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed or doing walking meditation, but all throughout the day, centered right here with a slight sense of being separate. You don't have to gobble down the things that come your way. And then you can experience things, as the Buddha said, just join from them. They're there. But they're not going to lean on you. They're not going to weigh you down. That way you can have seclusion, even in the midst of a lot of people, even in the midst of a lot of noise. You still have your quiet corner inside.